Hi everyone. Uh, it's been a long time since I posted a video here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update of the things that we've got growing in the garden. Um, a few days ago we came out with the kids and planted some seeds um, and just gave you guys an overview of what I've got going and showed you my new garden bed that you can see behind me. Um, and then unfortunately we got really sick. We had an awful strain of gastro and so I didn't get to finish off the video. So I've just ducked out this morning to um, finish off showing you what the in-ground garden looks like after we planted it and mulched it. Um, and, and I'll show you what we did now. How's it going? Are you working out how to click those fingers? How about you, Fee? What are we doing? Take a video picture of me. Take a picture of you? Yeah, okay. Not, not Max, just Phoebe. All right, show me your smiley face. Don't push, don't push. Yay! Mm. Yeah. All right, together. Okay, let's go to the garden. I'll show you in a minute. Look at all these things down here. How's everything going? None of them are ready yet, I don't think. It's getting a little bit pink. It's not ready. Please don't pick it until it's red. Okay? They taste nicer when they're red. And there's some little baby tomatoes in here. There's probably enough calendula to make um, chamomile to make a cup of tea. Is there any berries? No, nothing's ready yet. Oh, I know, we have to be careful. Yes, darling? What is it? Something must have eaten. Is it some new leaves are growing, isn't it? No. Something ate it. What? Something ate it? Like what? A bird? Okay, let's plant some things in the garden. Is it the eastern coal? Which one is it? I don't know that bird. Oh, it's tricky. It's tricky to look birds up by their sound because the bird book doesn't have sounds in it. Yeah, but how? It's it's tricky. It's tricky. You have to have a better idea of what's going on before you try to look it up. Those potatoes are nearly bigger than you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always bigger than. Wait, will I be? Will I be taller than them when I change next birthday? Oh, probably. Where's some grass? Oh, you want to pull some grass out of the garden for me? Yeah. I don't know. I think we did a good job and we got it all. We're going to grow some lettuce here. Because it grows fast. And over here, I think we're going to put um, some coriander. Now? Yeah, right now. We're going to put some coriander seed in. I got some. Here. Yeah, can you get the seed packets out of the side of my bag? One. Yeah, those ones. Yeah. Bring them in. Bring them into the net. Just use your hand, remember? Because it's not a huge hole. That's enough. Tip the plant out into your hand. Give it a gentle squeeze on the sides to help loosen it off a little bit. And then cup your hand over the top like this and tip it out so you can catch it. Yep, yep that's it. Go gently. There we go. You're Try to hold it together and put those roots right down to the bottom. It's you like, stand it up straight it must, and I'll fill it back in around the edges. It must have took all its good vitamins. It's got its roots pretty long. Yeah, it did well, didn't it? It probably took out all of its vitamins are gone. Yeah, do you think the soils all run out of all the nutrients? Yeah. Yeah, probably. it's ready to go in the garden, hey? Yeah, when it's... There's lots tons. more nutrients yeah, from like all our compost. 400. Yeah, that's a lot, hey? 
And can you put that one in? Same, same thing. Same thing here. I'm doing a different job. I'm putting the basil one. Yeah, you're putting the basils in. Okay, here. And me and Phoebe are. Oh, she found you a snow pea. How oh, delicious. Thanks, Phoebe. Mm. Did you get one too? Mm -hmm. Tasty, delicious. Mm. Why do corianders have little mm. bowls? Yeah, that's what their seeds look like. Oh, They're yeah. big seeds, aren't they? Can you open the packet? They're not that big. Can you open that? Little ones. How many am I getting out? Oh my goodness, Daddy. How many am I getting out? Um, one? No, a couple. Yeah, spread them out. Don't put them all on top of it. Be gentle with like, don't just shake them. Try to be a bit deliberate about where you put them. Why do these have a tiny bit of energy? Um, that's just the way that they're made. Why do they have energy? That's what gets them out and makes a little sprout. Okay, we're gonna... What happens if... In. Hang on. What Hang on a second. I'll answer your questions in a moment. We have to sprinkle a bit of soil over the top. And we'll give it a gentle press to make sure it's in contact with the soil. And then we're going to have to give them a very light, gentle water with a watering can. Um. Can you put that seed packet that you're holding back in the paper so we don't get mixed up about what it is? Um, and, um, why yeah. can't they grow if they go too far down? Because they only have enough energy to grow a little bit. To get to the top. To get to the surface, Mum. Yeah. Oh, and if you put, put them too deep. Then they can't make it all the way up and they'll die. Okay, let's grab this um, calendula. And we're going to take this dill down to the garden. <laughs> no, we're going to the garden. Oh, because it's so beautiful. I'd love to leave it in the garden. Yeah, it'll only last for a day if we bring it inside. I mean, the plant. No, it won't. Actually, picking the flowers makes the plant make more flowers. How do you know? Can you dig the hole here for um, this plant? Mm. The hole needs to be about the same size as the pot. Because that's as big as the plant is. Yeah, that's how big the roots on the plant are. Try not to throw, careful where you're throwing the soil. See how you're covering up the squash plant that's growing? You threw the soil over there when you dig, dug it. Just try to make a little pile next to where you dig. And I'm going to put this dill in. Uh, I've got to put it somewhere where we don't get it mixed up as like it doesn't look like a weed. Maybe you need a bezel. We haven't got any basil near the spinach, you think? Yeah, because then you'll know it's a plant. I think if I pull out this carrot here that went to seed, I might pop it, pop it in here. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, little plant. <laughs> Just rough it with your fingers gentle, brush it around with your fingers around the top. It'll be okay. I think this is as big as Yep, that's as big as the pot. Yeah. Okay, now it's same as before, we've got to squeeze the sides of the pot gently to loosen it up. So when they're big like these, we lay them on their sides and we give it a press like here. And turn it over and press it here. Just loosens it up and now put your hand like this around the base of the plant. Yep. So when it tips you can hold it. Yep. And it doesn't But you put it on the top of the leaf. It's like just hold your hand here at no, the soil. You put it like that. No, because this plant's bigger and you'll the so much soil that you'll crush the plant if you hold your hand over the leaves. Oh wow, those Yeah. Those roots are looking for somewhere to go. They probably took all the nutrients out. Hold, hold it up straight. I accidentally smashed some roots. That's okay because it's got lots more. It'll grow some new ones back again. Because it's, it's a big plant? Yeah, big plants 
handle it better. Do you guys want to come to the garden with me? Yes, yes, yes. yes. We'll go check on all the plants that we put in the garden. And can we go after we check all the plants? Can we go mm -hmm. for a walk so we can see the game plants and come back? Not today, darling. Mm -hmm. We just got to rest today, okay? Mm. Hello. Okay, let's mm. go to the garden. It's got lots of lines. Yeah, on it's it. got like stripes on it, like a tiger. Yeah, but what, what do they call it? Like a tiger? Like a I don't know if that's that? actually what it's called. That's just what, what I'm calling it. I'm gonna get some of these beans off. 